Camilla, who has been championing domestic abuse charities, will be supporting the Mirabel Safe Haven in Lagos, Nigeria. The youngest abuse victim being cared for at the country's first such center is three months old and the oldest is a disabled 80-year-old woman. The Duchess said, It is a truly trailblazing organization, supporting survivors of rape and sexual assault as they seek healing and justice. Their vital work means that women need no longer suffer in silence and I am deeply grateful to all Mirabelle's wonderful staff and volunteers. Back in 2018, the Duchess visited Nigeria along with Prince Charles and took part in a discussion hosted by the Women of the World Festival. On the visit, she said, Women get together to discuss things that matter to them so I think especially here in Nigeria it is a fantastic place to start. More than 6,450 survivors of sexual abuse, including people with disabilities, have been helped by the center which offers free medical and psychosocial support services. The Duchess has devoted her time to breaking the taboo around such abuse by visiting shelters and support centers around the world. She became the patron of the British domestic abuse charity Safe Lives in 2020. Atoro E. Zanaba, who founded the center in 2013, said, We have followed her work with charities working in the sexual and gender-based violence space and have seen how passionate and committed the Duchess is towards providing support for survivors. The COVID crisis had further revealed the endemic nature of sexual violence. We have seen a huge number of children and women coming forward to report cases of sexual assault and rape. We are confident that the support of the Duchess will make a difference. What is happening where you live? Find out by adding your postcode or visit in your area-related articles Meghan Markle and Harry are destroying public perception of royals. Camilla was livid at William and Kate's future royal roles Prince Andrew makes second journey to Balmoral for stint with Queen.